All right, welcome back. And so today we are on my daughter's Vortex. Um, we basically unboxed this thing, uh, took it to the front, let her rip it up and down and was hearing funny noises um, like mesh or motor or something like that um, right out of the box. So, after watching uh, Tony, CCXRC, and uh, JT's video of both of them frying motors, I didn't want to take a chance of my daughter ripping this thing and then having it break. So, that's not what we're looking for. That's not what I want to deal with. I don't want to have to call any more manufacturers about product failing. So... I'm gonna take a look at it before I even rip it. This thing is literally brand new. It has, I wanna say about two minutes of runtime. It hasn't, as you see, even been broken in. So let's uh let's see what's going on here. Why this thing was making so much noise. God, it just it feels so tight. It literally, it feels like there's no, the mesh is just slammed together. That's the way it feels to me. So we are going to fight to get this motor out. And what I mean by fight, you'll see these things, they're easy, but they're tough. So one screw at the bottom. So we are going to slide out this plastic dry shaft, I think. Yep, there we go. It says pull. Oh, that thing slipped pretty easy, probably because it's brand new. You can hear. It's got mesh. Oh, it's tight right there. No play, no slop. It's got slop there. Got slop there. Slop there, slop there, slop there, slop there, slop. Why was I tight? Huh, it had a tight spot. Right there. I got no slop. No slop right there. So that's why I had that high and low pitch. So something's not completely round because I have slop there, but I have one spot that is completely tight. Good there. It's literally just that one spot that one tooth it's probably something to do with that plastic gear yeah it is tight right there so I am gonna mark this thing before I pull the cover off I'm gonna put a mark across these threads I wish I had a white one but I don't so hopefully I'll be able to find that again That mesh is going to be hard to uh, to get right. Especially when that gear is not round. Huh. I wonder if, uh, if I should just change that gear. 
So I do have a metal gear. I might just throw the metal gear in. Um, this plastic one's going to strip out. So I'm going to put a metal gear in it because I'm in here and I really don't want her to have any issues. God, that Loctite's strong. Now you got to be careful not to uh, forget to put these, take these pads out. They are on both sides when transferring this stuff. So that's going to go on this side. Then there's a bearing in here. Now I forgot to take a slipper pad out on one of my other RC's and somebody caught it so that one I forgot to take out and I had to reorder it which I do have now so that one pad goes on the one side and then this is going to have a couple of pads on it for this side slippage I just wanted to smush everything together and make sure that our pad is in there see it's not in on this side you can see it right there it's floating but it's tight on one side is going on here see that's loose that side's tight something's going on spring in it a bunch of washers cap thing fell off things going on here that I'm not catching I've made it thicker don't tell me that this thing is pushing that's what's going on so this cap is no good that's what's going on right here right now since that cap pulls off this won't stay on that's why I'm getting all this damn noise I can see it now in my head yep that stupid cap pushes through and if that little cap pushes through then it leaves all this stuff loose. This cap should be pressed onto that, that end. Like 
this one. So I will be, I guess, contacting Arma. And put my old one on. I bet you this will go right on. Without issue. This is ridiculous. Because that has the spring in it. Yep. Nice and round. Nice and flat. This clutch pad slid over, so i got to fix that now. Yep. Nice and straight. Now let's see how I can make this slipper work. Oh, definitely don't want to do that. Yep, slipper. There we go, slips. So yep, that's what's going on. So this piece was literally broken inside of that that's what's going on is this little brass piece is not supposed to be separated from this and that's creating an issue and that's probably why I had the rent 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 noise going on that's kind of bogus all right so for you guys, it's been a second, a blip, a little on the screen. For me, it's been two hours. I've been in and out of this owner's manual, the Vortex breakdown guide, which I saw on the back, and this exploded view. So this is what ended up helping me knowing what part I need to order now. This piece right here that's broken, this little spring deal, well hopefully the spring's still in here. I don't know what I did with the spring, there it is. So this little spring and bolt deal with the two washers, so basically it's a big spacer, a little washer, and a big spacer. All of mine are set up that way with this little spring deal. And this little cap is like a capture cap. It doesn't allow the spring to, uh, to push through when you tighten this bolt down. It just gives you that spring tension. So with that, as you see, that spring is so stiff that it's not giving me anything. It's like so short, so collapsed. I wouldn't even call that, that darn thing, a spring. I call that thing a spacer. Because it doesn't have, it, it's, it's literally, and it's not moving. Yes, my nails and fingers are dirty. I'm a mechanic. I'll get a manicure and a pedicure as soon as one of my videos go viral. But um, I can't I can't collapse that spring. So somehow it has broken off from the base of this thing. Now I believe this to be broken from the start because the you guys watched the first time I pulled this thing apart, this little thing was dangling. And so basically that's supposed to stay on there. And it's funny because I I never I never saw one of these off before. And uh and I didn't realize it broke. I just thought it went on the end. And I was like, oh look, there's a brass thing that's uh that's got this spacer on the inside of it. Like, how did they do that? And then looking at this thing. It's perfect. There's no, I mean, looking at it closely now, it's a little sharded up, but
But when I keep popping this thing back on, you know, because I thought it just popped on there, um, it doesn't sit flat because one side is higher than the other side. So when I crank this down, it, it literally was cocking this thing. And what's been happening to the gear when all this is together, I've got a little wobble to this thing. So I've got a tight spot and then it seems to be good for the rest of the gear. Um, and because that's not centering everything and it's broken, it's literally got just a little wobble to it, which was creating an issue. And I would have never caught it because I was just going to set mesh and then decide it to, uh, to put the metal gear in it, the metal spur gear. Well, long story short, listen, mesh is perfect, mesh is perfect, mesh is perfect, mesh is perfect. I finally got this thing working right, which, you know, for a brand new, brand new RC, it sucks to have to go through all that and figure out what the heck is wrong. So... Um, but we did figure it out. Long story short, that's what I ended up doing. So luckily I had extra disc from my mistake before and I've got it working really good now. Now I still don't know what this silly looking tool thing is. Um, but you know, it looks like a little gun. Pew, 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 pew. Or it could be from my, you know, Days locked up. Put a motor on the end of this thing. This would be a good little tattoo gun. But uh, no, it's it's definitely a cool tool. I haven't figured out what those things are. I'm not a owner's manual type of guy. And I literally opened this one up to try to figure it out. Plus took a couple other RCs apart. So now that... I know it's going to be good for my daughter. I'm not going to have to worry. This thing's not going to break no more. Um, I do have the parts on order to fix my other setup that has to go in my parts big rock, which is my original big rock, which I think is the version 2 big rock maybe, because I think the version 3 is out. But I've uh, my blue one, um, I am uh, going to get that one put back together because I keep robbing parts off of it for all my other 3S line stuff. And to do this on a brand new RC, let me tell you, really, really sucks. But I did call my hobby store. Um, the parts are there in stock. So they're going to warranty that piece out for me. Um, and, uh, and we're going to move on. So let me pop this thing back in. Now, I've learned to roll this thing. So that you can snap it in and you hear the pop. We're going to grab our drive shaft, whatever, wherever I put that thing. Get our drive shaft put in fat side towards the motor. Skinny side towards the front so it can get underneath all them braces. We are good to go with the drive shaft. Motor sounding, sounding good and healthy. Hopefully we have no more. You guys heard it. So... We are going to get our bolt put in. I don't think a lot of these are going to be broken there, but I think they that these all have a mesh issue, which is going to cause an overheating issue. If that thing's binding in there and your mesh is tight, that motor is going to run extremely, extremely hot. Tony and, I think, and maybe a couple other people, because I was listening to their videos, I heard we all heard the noise, um, and. You know, didn't think anything of it. Like me, I told my daughter, don't worry about it. It's a brand new RC. Everything's just got to seat in a little bit. That plastic's got to wear a little bit. No, open it up, get it fixed. Another brand new RC out of the box, ready to run. Well, ready to work on. And uh, then at least your kid won't be mad at you when this thing, when this thing doesn't break. There we go, guys. So, got it all fixed up. Got everything good. We're going to get this thing out. The next video you'll see is this thing. We're going to get uh, the Haas out with it and probably the Rustler. I still think a lot of people are saying it's compatible with the Rustler. 
The 4x4 Rustler, I, to me, still disagree. I think it's more like the Haas. Um, and that's it. So we're going to run the Rustler, the Haas, the Vortex. Got to slap the body like I do in all the videos. And we'll see you out at the dirt. So there we go, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. We will see you on my next video. And hopefully this helps somebody. Thanks for watching.